Hey guys, I'm glad you're here. Today's project is this Coleman Powermate generator. And the problem is that the valve lash is so far off that it's damaged the recoil. There are so many problems with this thing, but the primary problem, of course, is the valve lash. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the recoil and the front cover since I have to repair it as well. And for filming purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the fuel tank as well. We're gonna have to remove the carburetor as well as the front cover is under part of the carburetor. In this scenario, the fuel grommet and the filter was already removed from an empty fuel tank. Then remove the three bolts from the cover and carefully remove it from the engine. Turning the flywheel by hand confirms how far off the valve lash really is. And if we take a look at the damaged recoil, you can see that the pawls no longer retract. Next, I'm going to go ahead and remove the spark plug as this will help us find top dead center later on. Now remove the four bolts on the valve cover and carefully remove it from the engine. I'm going to use this screwdriver to help find top dead center while turning the flywheel with your hand and after the intake valve closes, watch for the screwdriver to actually change direction from an up direction to a down one. And if we move the rocker arms around, we can see excessive amounts of valve lash. It's very obvious that it was adjusted incorrectly. When I did measure the valve lash, it came up to be about 40 thousandths, which is about 10 times more than it's supposed to be. You'll need to use a 13 millimeter or a half inch wrench and a T40 Torx bit to adjust the valve lash. Loosen the nut a couple of times and then tighten the Torx bit a little bit at a time and then retighten the nut and check the valve lash. And if you're curious, I'm adjusting it to about five thousandths of an inch of valve lash. And once the intake is done, go ahead and do the exhaust as well. And once I was happy with everything, I decided to put everything back together except the recoil cover, which I have to fix, and the fuel tank because I'm still filming, and I'm going to test it with my drill and the socket. And to make sure that the generator is actually outputting power, I'm going to go ahead and plug in this light as well. Well, luckily it makes power, but it looks like the carburetor is going to need some attention and the idle looks like it's going to need to be adjusted as well. Thanks for watching Inside House Garage. Like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.